So in today's book review, I'm going to talk about a book that is based on one of my favorite all-time horror series, and that is the original Friday the 13th. I'm going to talk about that novel next. So many of you who know me know that I am a big fan of the Friday the 13th movie series. Now, I get it. Some of you probably think that it's a little bit corny. Some of you probably look at it now and you don't think that it's very scary. But looking at it as a kid way back in the day when I first was exposed to some of these Friday the 13th movies, I found them to be kind of scary as a kid, at least initially. And then maybe not so much later on, but I still have an affection for the series. Although, I tend to prefer the earlier pieces in the series, the first probably four, five, six, seven movies. You get to part eight, Jason takes Manhattan, and it starts to taper off a little bit for me. But the first seven, for sure, very good movies for me, uh, very good horror series. But I was really interested in reading the Simon Hawk books that are based on screenplays of some of the original Friday the 13th movies. And one of the reasons that I was curious about the books, uh, not just the fact that if you try to buy the actual physical copies of the books on either Amazon or eBay, you could be dropping a lot of dollars to try to get one of those precious books. So I think a lot of us are hoping that eventually there'll be a reprint of some kind and those books will become a little bit more readily available, but that's not the case right now. So. At this point, you're not left with very many options, but one option you are left is the audio version of the book. And so I really wanted to check out that audio version of the book. And part of it again is because not just with the print edition versus the audio book edition, I was really curious about would there be any background about the relationships between the staff members in the original Friday the 13th film? Would there be any other types of background that might be interesting, that might fill some holes that are in uh, the story, uh, or some things that maybe you left the story, the original movie, curious about? Now, I wish I had $10 for every time I've seen the original Friday the 13th movie, and uh, it never gets old for me. I could watch it all the time, because to me, it's just that much of a guilty pleasure. It's that much of a classic horror movie for me. So, when I started to read the Simon Hawk book, I was really uh, interested in it because I guess technically I didn't read it, I listened to it as an audio book, but I really enjoyed uh, getting some of the background information on some of the characters and the way that they interacted with each other based on the screenplay, which of course was adapted into the book. But it was really great to get some background and some of the interactions between some of the characters that you got a little bit of a glimpse of in the movie, but if you get the screenplay and you start to get some of their thoughts, it makes some of the things a little bit more clear as far as how some of the characters interacted with each other. So when you think of like, for example, Steve Christie and the way that he was interacting with Alice, you read the book or you hear the audio version of the book and it starts to make a little bit more sense what was going on there. But as you read the audio book or listen to the audio book or read the physical book by Simon Hawk, you get a little bit more of a picture of some of the other interactions and some of the thoughts of the other characters and how they engage with each other. And it really raised some interesting uh, uh, thoughts that the characters had in terms of interacting with each other that I hadn't really picked up on in the movie And it kind of makes me want to go watch the movie again to see if there were a little bit more in terms of hints of what was going on That was alluded to in the screenplay and then brought to life in a different way in the Simon Hawk book So I would definitely recommend that if you're a fan of the Friday the 13th movies that you seriously consider checking out the Simon Hawk books if you aren't able to obtain a physical copy of the books uh, I would say that the next best thing is to check out the audio version, the audio book of that Simon Hawk uh, classic series. So check it out one way or the other. If you're interested in some additional information about what was going on behind the scenes with the characters, things that were in the screenplay that maybe didn't translate quite as clearly into the actual film, then the Simon Hawk book is definitely going to be worth your time. 